This is not a normal now. You have a Christian and Lisa try to collect my picture in the way. Then shoot one and bread out of the gate. And now see the crowd of here move ahead back into the town now because they kill somebody in the middle of the town. What a man in a Christian. When I hear what one viewers, a stepfather get gunned down in front of school in Manchester after taking his stepdaughter to school. Another video is there surfacing online with a young youth do a bag of things. I seen Prime Minister Andrew Wilness up on their mother. Me no know them young youth are think my people. Where them are smoking and them sliff. If I waste them waste so are them nah nothing for do my people who no pre this. See the chest? Kill Bob Bokla. The JDF them chew down one of Westmoreland. Most wanted bad man. Carlington Godfrey, otherwise known as Tommy. Wanted for numerous three pints him take. We have that we talk about too. So we we'll must stay tuned. The Christiana Manchester police say that. The man who was unalive at a gate of a school on Friday was on bail, having been charged for taking the life of a 14-year-old teenager four years ago in a shooting. The man who the police identify as Cuthbert Lambert, otherwise called Jerome, a 27-year-old, was unalive in a drive-by shortly after 8 a.m., just as he dropped off. His five-year-old stepdaughter at Christiana, Moravian Primary and Infant School. The school is located beside the Christiana Police Station, to which Lambert had been reporting in keeping with the terms of his bail for taking the life of a teenager. Lambert was charged in relation to the December 2, 2022, three pints of the 14-year-old teenager Ricardo Richards otherwise called Deshaun Ashley, during a drive-by shooting in the community of Brockery near Christiana. The incident also resulted in Ricardo's 17-year-old cousin being hospitalized. Ricardo just finished driving lesson with his father when the tragedy struck at the time of Ricardo's three points. A relative of Ricardo said that he was behind the steering wheel as his father had been teaching him to drive. The relative said a car was behind them, so Ricardo was driving slowly. As him stop out this at the shop, them pass him and come out and turn, but he never did pay them any mind, and them come back down and just start load up the car. The relative added, Ricardo's father is said to have exit the vehicle to go into the shop and just before them load up the vehicle. A police report at the time said about 8.20 p.m. Ricardo was sitting in the driver's seat of a Honda, a card motor car, while the other teenager was sitting on the bonnet of the car on the roadway. When they were pounced up on by gunmen traveling in a Toyota Axio motor car, who opened fire hitting them several times, Ricardo lived in the carpet area but was reportedly staying with relatives for Christmas in the Manchester Northeastern community. The police believe Ricardo's father, Lennox Ashley, a 37-year-old, was the intended target of 2020 gun attack. Ashley was gunned down almost two years later on March 18, 2022 in Brockery. No man a walk on a country. Just wake up and a man a tell me say yo three people in a less than one or a three different spot of a Christiana in a man in a while ago. A walk on a country man. Walk on up a Christiana day. Chano when I walk for a curfew, let me not lie. 
Four people dead in Manchester in a two day. One a Christian and three a maid. You see me brawling. No mass, no. You see me and police can't find them. Nobody no know who no. no. You see me? But between me and you, know, I'm telling you something. Man, a police in a plain clothes are come round and a kill some man. You see me? But guess what now? It will look bad for some man. Because man friend believes he a man. You see me? But a no man. A police a kill man. You see me? Police and alive, Westmoreland's most wanted bad man in gun battle. Carlington Tommy Godfrey who was one of the most prime target on Westmoreland police most wanted list for a series of crimes including multiple tree pines in commit in several communities across the parish. He was unalive in an alleged gun battle. With the police yesterday. Godfrey who was feared by even his own cronies in the underworld because of his fleary temper and his willingness to unalive anyone all him own friend when he was provoked had engaged the police in several gun battles before his last stand yesterday. Westmoreland was in the spotlight on Thursday when the fragile peace in Range Hill, where Godfrey is based, he is wanted for multiple three pints him take, loading up people with nine binds, tearing down people, business, places, and things, gripping young girls and numerous criminal activities within the parish. According to reports shortly after 8 a.m. yesterday, a police team acting on information went to a location in the parish where they encounter Godfrey. He reportedly engaged the officers in a big gun battle during which a cop also picked up a couple nine binds. When the shooting ended, Godfrey was found suffering from multiple nine binds wounds he get in the battle along with the injured cop was taken to hospital where he was pronounced and the police officer admitted in stable condition. Where the bomb cloth are going so? Pussy wall. Bomb cloth. Bumbo clot! Yeah man! Pussy hole! Bumbo clot! Where them about to be? They are full there. Mm -hmm. When I tell the soldiers, nobody alone. They don't want nobody. Nobody gone. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. 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 Wat